Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a what's in my purse video as you can tell by the title of this video. Again, like I said in the last video, I'm still a little bit sick, so please ignore my voice. I sound like a man, but that's okay. So I figured since I bought a new purse recently, a couple weeks ago, I think, I figured I would film one of these what's in my purse videos because I think sometimes you can find out a lot about a person from what they carry around in their bag, so this should be interesting. Here's my bag. I got it from Charming Charlie, which I swear by, and everyone that knows anything about me knows I love that store because I get all my bags there pretty much now. I had a crossbody bag that I bought there a while back, and I use it all the time. It was wicked cheap. I think it cost me like literally 15 bucks, and it has lasted me forever. It hasn't like fallen apart at all or anything like that, and I use it all the time. So their stuff is good quality for a cheaper price. And I'm the type of person that doesn't really usually spend that much money on accessories because I know that I'm going to want to switch them out really frequently, especially bags. I'm not the type of person that will just buy a bag and use it for years and years. I usually will use it for a couple months and then want something new or want something different. So I figured I would pick this up. It was like 40 bucks or even less, I'm not really sure. And I really like it because I'm a huge fan of silver hardware. I'm, I, my other bag is black and gold, but I prefer silver because I wear mostly silver jewelry. So, um, yeah, I that, thought that was really, really cool. So it has this strap and then these, and the back is just plain like that. This one does come off, so if you wanted to take it off, you could. Then on the inside there is a zipper, um, which I like a lot because it makes you feel, you know, a little more secure when uh, there's a zipper. So the first thing that's usually in my bag, which obviously isn't in my bag right now because I'm home, but my phone is always in my bag because I bring it everywhere. Check out my cool phone case sticker, Spongebob represent, got that at VidCon. What up t-shirt reference? What up Lily Singh reference? I'm gonna reach in, first thing in my bag. A Vino hand cream. I actually just bought this the other day and stuck it in my bag because my hands are extremely dry. I just have generally dry skin. And I have this thing called Renaud syndrome, which I know some of you out there probably have this too, where when it gets cold out, if you go outside, your body naturally cuts off circulation from your outer extremities. So your hands, your feet, tip your nose, your ears, that kind of stuff. So when it's cold out, I get less circulation to my hands, so not only are they colder, they also lack moisture. So my hands are always really, really dry to the point where they like split and crack and bleed and it's just not fun. But this stuff I swear by, I had a tube of it a long time ago and I just recently went out and bought a new one, so I'm super glad to have that in my bag. The next thing is my wallet, which you guessed it, is from Charming Charlie's. I really like it because it has this little hardware bit right here that I think gives it a little pop and it's cute enough that you can carry it around kind of like a clutch so if I was just running to the store I could just grab this instead of bringing my whole purse. So inside here I have the typical stuff, AAA card, license, my school ID card, credit cards, debit cards, my checkbook, receipts, pretty boring stuff but I mean you know standard wallet stuff. Then the next thing I have in my bag is the third book in the Maze Runner series because if you watch my favorites video you know that I am currently reading that right now and I usually read this on my breaks at work because I'm a super nerd and I get bored really easily so when I'm on break I like to you know read a couple chapters because they're short and sweet and I love the series so far so yeah check it out. Next thing I'm just going to show you the back of this because has my information on the front but basically I got selected for jury duty well I got called for it I haven't actually gone yet I don't know if I'm gonna sit on a jury but it seems a little okay so I have this thing where basically I registered to vote really really recently online and then within a few months I got this notice that I needed to serve for jury duty, so I have a feeling that it might be linked. What do you guys think? I don't know if like anybody knows if it's linked or not. I haven't looked it up or anything like that. But I know other people who said right after they registered to vote, they got a letter in the mail saying that they had to do jury duty. And I mean, I'm only 19 years old, so I feel like this is really early to have jury duty. I don't really know. 
but hopefully I don't get selected, but I mean, it might be interesting, right? I, I deferred it to the summer just because I'm in school, so I think it'll be during May, but I mean, we'll find out. I'll let you know how that goes. So the next thing that I have is this little travel size case that I bring everywhere with me. When I'm going to class, I put this in my backpack. When I'm going to work, I put this in my purse. And basically it has all of the little necessary items in it. It has lady products, as you can see. Some cotton balls, I have deodorant in here. Some of those breath fresh shrimp things. A little mirror and a chapstick, so that's what's in there. You never know when you're gonna need that kind of stuff, so carry it around. Then I have these moist wipes that kill 99.99% .99 of germs because I work at a daycare, so I also have a pack in my car. When I leave, I like to, you know, wipe off my hands and stuff because kids are gross and you get sick, and I think I pretty much got sick from work, so maybe I should use these more often. Then I have a coupon for the Wet n Wild One Step Wonder Gel Nail Polish because I heard it was really good and I saw the display at Rite Aid. I withheld from buying it, but they did have coupons so I figured I would pick one up just in case I do decide to buy some of them. It doesn't expire until December of this year, so I'm gonna be holding on to this for a while until I decide to actually buy one. I'm pretty sure they're cheap too and I heard they were good, so might check that out. The next thing I have is a half-eaten bag of Cheez-Its because I like to keep snacks in my bag for work and you know if I'm out and I get hungry you never know when you want some Cheez-Its. More food, what do you know? Ritz crackers. Because like I said, I get hungry a lot. More food, a Nature Valley peanut sweet and salty nut granola bar. These are actually really good. Um, I eat these all the time and I usually have like a bunch of boxes at school so like if I'm running to class I'll grab one. But yeah, they're really good. I also have some business cards which have my information so I'm not going to show you them. But um, you can see there's a little graphic right there of a camera lens. So because I'm a communications film major I figured I would put that on there. It says my name, my school, class of 2018. Communications major with a digital film concentration and then my contact information. So you never know when you're gonna run into like a world famous film producer or something and you wanna slip them a card. You never know what's gonna happen. So I always carry these around, you know, just in case. Then I have my keys, obviously, which are in like a little side pocket because you gotta drive places. Then in the little the next little side pocket I have a hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works, the raspberry pink peony scent, which is really good actually. Mm. Then I have a Burt's Bees tinted lip balm, which I really like and forgot that was this was in my bag, so good to know. Then I have a single cough drop. You know what? I think I'm gonna eat this right after this video because my throat is really dry right now. Then there's a little zipper pocket on this side, and I have a comb. Didn't actually know this was in here. Just do a little touch up. I've got a little mirror. I don't want to blind you, but there's that. I have a bag of medications. I think I have like Tylenol, Sudafed, Motrin, that kind of stuff in here. You never know when you're gonna feel sick or get a headache or something, so I carry this around with me. Then I've got a whole bunch of pens and a giant eraser, because I make lots of mistakes. Although I don't have a pencil in my bag, so it doesn't really make sense why I would carry an eraser. But it's in here, so, you know. And I think, oh no wait, I also have a pair of socks in my bag, because you never know when you need a pair of socks. And also, since I work at a daycare, if I go into the infant room, I usually will take off, we're required to take off our shoes or put booties over our shoes. And on days when I maybe don't have the right footwear, I got a pair of socks, just in case. And I think that's it. That is everything that is in my bag. Here it is. Hope you enjoyed that video. It may have been like super boring, but hope it was interesting. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video.